Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Gamer Talks, and welcome to my ninth haul video. And boy, oh boy, do I have a lot of stuff to show you. I have games, I got magazines, I got brochures, I got other stuff. That's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a long video. So, anyway, so now let's start. All right. So the first two games I have are from a used game store, which is usually the one that I go to to get some games. So the first game I got is Nightcaster Defeat the Darkness but yeah I also got this because it was published by Microsoft I have no idea it's like $4.99 only on, only on Xbox but yeah, I haven't played it yet it looked it, it kind of interesting because it looked like Azuric Rise of Parathea but yeah, I haven't I haven't played it yet so I don't know what it's like spine in the back Explosive spell combat in a world of mystery and wonder. Okay, maybe that kind of... Because it kind of sounds really similar to a Zurich. Even though these are both completely different games and developed by completely different people. So here's the disc. Looks just like the front cover and then the instruction manual. There's nothing behind it, so no, no point in showing it. Alright, and... Next game is a Wii U game. I got... Pikmin 3. Yeah, I finally got a Pikmin game. And maybe because Hey Pikmin just released, or I kind of was itching to play Pikmin 3 because I didn't find the first two at, on the GameCube or, or on Wii as, at that used game store, so I just got Pikmin 3, $17.99. But yeah, I, I'm surprised at how much I actually liked Pikmin 3. I know that it, it didn't have the greatest of development because I know it it started on the Wii, and then because it was taking so long, it, it got ported to the Wii U. But yeah, I liked how it uses the game. How it used the gamepad, spine, and the white spine in the back. Explore an alien world with the help of your Pikmin army: red Pikmin, blue Pikmin, yellow Pikmin, winged Pikmin, and rock Pikmin. I'm not sure if that's all of them because I've only on day four of Pikmin three, so I can't can't give my full thoughts. And it still has the original GameStop sticker. Uh, probably, I don't know if I'll ever take that off. And then inside, whoa, uh, here's the, the disc. I like the disc. Look at all the pigment. That's a beautiful disc. It's beautiful. And then here's the manual, which you don't see a lot of Wii U games with manuals. So here's that. And then there's, uh, if you like Pikmin 3, check out these other great games. Sing Party, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Nintendo Land. I don't have Sing Party, but I do have New Super Mario Bros. U, and... New Super Luigi, I mean, Luigi, I mean, it's Luigi U. But yeah, Pikmin 3. Probably one of the best games on the Wii, one of my favorite games on the Wii U, that's for sure. Probably most people's favorite as well. Alright, next two games, um, well, for the first time ever, I'm going to be showing eBay purchases. So the first game I got is a Game Boy Advance game in the box, and I got Spyro, Season of Ice. Yeah, Spyro on Game Boy Advance. And it's actually not that bad. I know people say, Oh, Insomni Insomniac made the greatest Spyro games ever. And then, when they lost the license and they moved on to Ratchet and Clank, Universal decided to just make it crap. But no, that's not true. The Game Boy Advance one isn't that bad. I mean, well, this one was released really early in the Game Boy Advance's life. Yeah, 2001, I think it said uh, that it was released. But yeah, it's not that bad. It's an it, it's Spyro in an ice two. <clears throat> <clears throat> Speak, Jason. Um, wow, well, I already forgot. But yeah, uh, it's not that bad. It's a two. It's a isometric Spyro, which isn't that bad. So inside, here's the um, here's the cartridge, and then it cut. It came with all. All the inserts that were in here. Stop, stop doing that. Is um, the the manual right here, and then there's um, I think there's a Game Boy Advance advert in there, and registration card I think for Universal Interactive, and the precautions booklet. I'm not gonna pull everything out since it'll just take too long. Come on. No, I'll get it after. And and then here's the back just to. Uh, uh, hold Spyro in the palm of your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Game Boy Advance. Uh, the other one is a GameCube game. I got 
Mario Party 6. Yes, I got another Mario Party. Thank God, I got it, because Mario Party 4 was the only one I had on the GameCube, and I didn't want to just leave it alone. But yeah, I like Mario Party 6. I haven't played it a lot, but I like the idea of the day and night system. It it really spices up the gameplay. I mean, I'll try it. I'll try it out at some point with multiplayer. Spine back. Party till the break of dawn. And then, I don't have the microphone though, so looking out for one of those. And then inside is the disc. Looks really similar to Mario Party 4's disc. And then there's the manual, and then a subscribe to Nintendo Power insert right there with Donkey Donkey Stone. But yeah, that's it for all of my um, used game store stuff and eBay purchases. So, hmm, not really sure what to do next. Wait, I figured out what I wanted to do next. Next, I'm going to do some brochures. First one is, um, I got this in the mail. I got a um, Toys R Us brochure. The ultimate guide to play. Naughty is not an option. Toys R Us. Yeah, pretty beefy Toys R Us brochure. I mean, I won't go. I won't go through it since it'll just take way too long. And then is this save ten dollars on your purchase of one hundred dollars or more? Valid to October twenty sixth or November eighteenth, two thousand seventeen for an, for use on one transaction only. But yeah, I saw that there were some some games in here that I wanted to get <clears throat> on Switch and PS four and PS four Xbox One. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through it since it'll just take too long. All right, next is um. Basic uh, issue game of four, the one for with Dragon Ball Fighters, a fighting game worthy of the Legendary series. Yes, I've heard of that a lot with this game because looking at gameplay, it actually does look like the anime. Even though I've never watched the anime, think really think about how big of an impact Dragon Ball Z has on on anime, especially Goku and his. It's over nine thousand. But yeah, I'm not going to go through this either since it'll just take too long and there's Frieza. And I think that that's Goku or Vegeta. Don't kill me, Dragon Ball fans. And then there's some smaller ones like uh, this GameStop. Wield the power of savings. This one's really small. This one's about the power-up rewards. Introducing the new power-up rewards. Oh, really? Let's see. What Which one is new? GameStop. Oh, I see. Elite Pro. Let's see. Power Stamina, 30 points, that's pretty good. Birthday off, birthday offer, I think all of them have birthday offer. But yeah, take the rewards with you, I already have the uh, power up rewards. GameStop app on my phone, and next one is uh, a choose your weapons wisely, accessory guide, fall 2017. Again, yeah, not going to go through this either, but in here is uh, stuff for Xbox One. I like that Xbox, uh, Volcano Controller. That looks Nice. Kind of reminds me of the, um, the red Joy-Con I have back here. And then there's a blue one right there. That one looks nice as well. More stuff. PS4 stuff. Uh, let's see. I think I saw a DualShock 4 somewhere. Yeah, this one. Uh, I think it's a clear DualShock 4. Then the gold one and the silver one down there. And then some more stuff. And then for the Switch, more Joy-Cons. Red and blue Joy Cons, yellow Joy Cons, Pro Controller, Charge and Grip. I think that might be it for Switch. Uh, carrying cases, more uh, wire controllers, Mario and Luigi controllers, uh, Retro, with, um, Retron, and I don't. I'm not sure if the Super, the SNES Mini is in. SNES, Super Nintendo Classic is in here. PC. Not gonna go through that since I'm not a PC gamer. Streaming. Some online stuff, Xbox Live Gold, and eShop cards, Steam cards, PlayStation Plus, and AMP. Okay, actually I may have did go through that, I'm a liar. Right, and then there's the weekly ads, I have two of them. I've got this one, which was October 18th through the 24th, which has South Park, the Fractured But Total, with uh, the Gold Edition, the, fractured, uh, the Game, the Season Pass, and the Special Cartman Fart Pillow. Just wait, South Park fans are going to go crazy over that. And then, second page is the, um, the Mario Odyssey bundle for the Switch. And then it's Battlefield 1 Revolution. 
Uh, so one of my, my brother told me that um, that one of his friends said um, on the cover of Battle for One Revolution, he said, I miss the black guy. <laughs> Which I just found funny. For some, maybe it was just me. And then down here, Fire Emblem Warriors and Switch and New 3DS. Think about how many games there are on the New 3DS. Only two. That game and Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Nintendo puts more games on the new 3DS. And then Sonic Forces right here. Uh, this is a Switch one. Free downloadable a episode. Shadow. And then over here, stuff for Call of Duty World War II. Uh, right here. And Destiny 2 down there. Next page on the back. Come on. There we go. Uh, Mine Minecraft stuff, and then Minecraft is Super Plus Pack for, you know, Xbox One X, just to show the Xbox One X is a powerful system, even though probably a good majority of people don't care, or probably don't notice the difference. Gran Turismo Sport down here, and, and, and now our Batman the Enemy was saying that, which I think is Season 2 of the Telltale game. Cuphead, which I want to, which I want to get, I'll play Cuphead. I played on Xbox One and Rogue Trooper Redux. I don't even know what that game is. Elex, don't know what that game is either. Dungeons, don't know what that game is either. Let me just get that out of the way. Uh, and some Nerf guns. I think it's Nerf guns. Yeah, Nerf guns. Deadpool, Nerf guns. And then down here is Wolfenstein 2. PS4 right there. Assassin's Creed Origins right there. Need for Speed Payback. Don't know what that game is. The Pillars. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, right there. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Sims 4, and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And then Far Cry 5, and um, some headsets, and then stuff right here. So yeah, there's that one. And then up top, get Stick of Truth with free of purchase. Which is a really good way to sell, sell the game. And then here's the second one, which is October 25th through October 31st. And this one's a bit bent, because... I, I, I really don't know. This is Assassin's Creed Origins with this gold steelbook, gold digital, deluxe, standard, and the season pass. And then Xbox One S down here. And then inside, Super Mario Odyssey, obviously. Super Mario Obvi uh, Odyssey, Odyssey, obviously. Yeah, I rhyme. There's the bundle and the Switch. A 3D new 2DS with the Pokemon, Pokeball, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And Wolfenstein 2 down here, which I know Wolfenstein 2 is coming to the Switch next year, and Doom is coming later. But yeah, I've I've traded on, I played um Doom on PS4. It's an awesome game, I'll tell you that. Escapist 2, I haven't even played the first one. And then stuff here, I like get um uh, trading your console or something to get the newest games like Super Mario Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, Wolfenstein 2, Super Lucky Tail. Need for Speed Payback and all the other ones. So yeah, I think that might be all of the brochures. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be. Bad. Next! <coughs> Oops. Well, there goes Bielzer with Nectarine. That might be a hint to something. But yeah, so next is a Switch game. Uh, one of two Switch games. I know, I finally got two for one video for once. I got Tiny Barbarian DX. Now, this game kind of interested me because it looked a lot like Cave Story. Cave Story. Maybe it's because the artwork looked... Maybe it's similar, or maybe it's just because they're by the same people, Nicholas. Uh, freebies inside, maybe, or something. And then Spine, back here, and the back. A Neo Classic Sword and Sorcery 2D Force. Epic old school boss battles, an incredible adventure in four exciting episodes. You are the Tidy Barbarian, a savage swordman, swordsman in each in search of treasure. A it was a flagon of mead and the warmth of the fair maiden by the fireside. Legions of, of savory enemies and terrifying hazards are all that stand between you and barbarian glory. 
an exciting run, jump, and slash adventure with a clever homage to a classic video game in practically every scene. Muscles ready to flex? It's Tidy Barbarian DX. Now that now that sounds like a lot like a Hercules game. The, uh, the barbarian even kind of looks like Hercules. Take away the sword, and he's Hercules. So yeah, seems to be a lot of stuff with the game. Voice crack and play mode. Uh, uh, TV mode, one to two players. Tabletop mode, one to two players, and handheld mode, one to two players. Switch Pro Controller compatible and two player cooperative mode, classic platform action, loincloth stirring chip tunes, powerful sword combos, hidden secret diamonds, unlockable game modes, two but thirteen but who cares? And then Nicholas and Raid E10 Plus for Fantasy Violence and Mal Blood. Huh. What is Cave Story Fantasy Violence? Mild language. I didn't find any swear words in this game, by the way. But yeah, um, I wonder what the freebies are. I mean, you, you can kind of see one poking right there. I guess it's one of those pouches, like with um, Cave Story, um, which I think is. Oh, sorry about the stand. Uh, right here. Just drop something, but regardless, if you hear something, that's my. This is one of my dogs, and then I got my Niff. This is one of my. This this is not the special Niff for another game that's coming later. And Bale is probably doing something with Nectarine, and I have no idea. But yeah, I want to get more of these like Switch like, in indie games because. Cause I like, I really liked Cave Story. I haven't finished it yet, but I feel like I'm close to beating it. Oh, come on, I want to get that sticker. <clears throat> oh jeez, I feel like I'm gonna get the entire thing off. <clears throat> oh jeez, I'm gonna break it. Come on, seal. <clears throat> come on. It's a really tough seal. I just realized. There we go. Got it off. I just noticed there's no no glue in the spine for this one. That's pretty nice. All right, now let's open it up. Mm, feel that. And oh, well, that's oh gee, well it's not even on it. It's not even on the, the hinges. But a manual, another manual. I think Nicholas is really the only company that I've seen that does manuals in their games. And then an alternate cover art. Good job, Nicholas. You managed to get you. You seem to be the ones that like to put inserts in inserts in their games, and like, extra goodies, and something on the back. Alternate cover art, and the uh, the alternate cover art looks a lot different. I mean, it kind of looks like an NES game, and it has Nicholas yet again. Even though the back kind of looks different, even though it says stuff, some stuff that's different than instruction manual right here. It's nice and colored. Well, I'm not gonna look through, but. What's in here? Is it like the one with Cave Story where it gives you one of the three main characters from the game? Does it say Tiny Barbarian DX? Yeah, it does. So this is kind of like with Cave Story. Oh, it's the Barbarian. On the on the a B, it's like with the sticker freebie inside. Just put the manual back in and then take out the cartridge. Here's the cartridge. Nicholas. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this cover art or not, because, I mean, I definitely like it. It's just, don't know if I prefer it over the actual, this one. Alright, so next is, um, actually, let's, let's be, what's Bielder doing? <laughs> Junior, get my cough drops! This is it. The very last thing that I have with this haul video. It's really something special. I have waited ever since this game first showed up in it, in its existence. And then when another the trailer was released, I got hyped. And then when the E3 trailer showed up, I got even more hyped. I'm wearing. I'm even wearing a hat to pr to prove that that I am excited. 
Okay. You know, you know what it is. It's Super Mario Odyssey. I got Super Mario Odyssey. Finally, this game is out. I am so excited for this game. As you can already tell, because of me trying to sound dramatic. So yeah, here's the poster that I got with my pre-order. It's in this, um, it's in the elastic. Let me pull it out. Whoa, look at that. It looks just like the cover art. I like it a lot. So, uh, what's in the pack? Malio as a tank. You can't go wrong with Malio as a tank. Really, you can't. You just can't. So yeah, here's the poster for Super Mario Odyssey. And then the the first thing I will show is the that I got all three amiibos. Yeah, I also decided to get all three amiibos for Super Mario Odyssey. Why? Because I was excited for the game. This is my most anticipated game of the year. And I, if you couldn't tell yesterday when I was making those, those vi the, the, about Mario Kart 8, I was talking about Mario Odyssey a lot. Yeah, I am really excited for the game. I have the game behind me. Just um, I'll do the, the game last. Since that's going to be the, 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 um, the best of the best. So yeah, let's, uh, let's put uh, Bielzer and Peach to the side. Uh, Bielzer and Peach are already doing the thing anyway. And then that's probably what... The mannequins for Beelzer and Nectarine for Beelzer's um, wedding dress for Net for Peach. Cause why not? And then here's Malio, very nice looking Malio. Okay, sorry about that. Someone just came in. But look at Malio. Look at Malio. He it looks amazing. He's in a nice top hat and a white tuxedo. Cause why not? It, the, the story seems to be about. Uh, Bielzer in marriage. Then back here, uh, let's see. Discover the power inside of other amiibos. Collect, customize, and complete on Switch, new 3DS, and Wii U. And uh, use this amiibo with Super Mario Odyssey and amiibo help. Become inv invincible for a short time and uh, get the costume for for the game. Pretty good bonus. But yeah, I am going to aggravate a lot of amiibo collectors because. I got a special knife. It's got an exacto knife. I'm so sorry, people. I really wanted to open these. Because I'm so excited for Mario Odyssey. I'm gonna tear the box. Hopefully, I just do a good job. Because I haven't unboxed an amiibo with an exacto knife. Which I am doing it from up here. I know, people, I am so sorry. So sorry. But I want to open the box. Because it's Malio in a tuxedo. Who knows if you'll ever see it ever again in future games. Oh, jeez, I think I've already ripped the box. Yeah. Well, at least it was good while it lasted. Oh, wait. Uh, right here. Why don't wait for me? Oh, jeez. Actually, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. How am I gonna open this? Don't cut yourself. Ow. Okay, I didn't cut myself. Thank God. Okay, I think I got it. It's, this isn't gonna be perfect, but this is the best that I can do. Come on, Malio. 
Come on, my Leo. I want you out of the box. People want to see you out of the box. This is your first day of Mario Odyssey. Your first fake marriage. Beelzer actually is going to marry... Now you're... Oh, no. I ripped the box. No! No! I ripped Molly's mustache. I went that side. Okay, um, how's that? It's not bad. It's, I, I mean, I ripped, messed up on the mustache a bit, but... Oh, Tiny Barbarian, why'd you do that? And then just get the bottom. I think I didn't cut myself, though. That would've been bad. Actually, let me just pull out Molly. There we go. Wedding Molio for Super Molio Odyssey. Odyssey. I'm going to keep the box though. I'm not going to throw it out. Because this is going to be a very special piece for Molio Odyssey. I'll just put it right there for now. But yeah. Molio in a white tuxedo. Look at his pose. He looks amazing. And he has that nice Molio party base. Alright, next, let's I have not I don't have much to compliment on these on these amiibos. I'm not an amiibo an amiibo collector at all. Alright, uh next let's do let's see. Peter Bell Peter Bowser. Any mini money mo kitchen deck about the show if you guys let him go. If you uh, any, <clears throat> my my mom says to pick that very best one and that is why oh yeah. Yeah, one fell first. Uh, I don't know. Any mini money mo kitchen deck about the show if you guys let him go. My mom says to pick that very best one and that is why oh you I will do Beel. All right, we'll do, we'll do Beelzer first. Yeah, Beelzer definitely has a bigger box, you know, because he's Beelzer and he's a pimp. I even got him this cane to prove that he's a pimp. He is Pimp Beelzer. Pimp Beelzer. This will be perfect for Beelzer. All right, let's get Beelzer out. Let's, well, no wait. Before we get Beelzer out, let's look at the back. So, for this one, the <clears throat> learn where regional coins are hidden, and even get his costume. Malio in a Koopa shell, a spiky Koopa shell at that, from Beelzer. Malio can become a Koopa. Amazing! Alright, but now let's actually get Beelzer out. I'm trying not to cut myself this time. Oh no, jeez, I already, I think I already ripped the box. Yeah, I, I think I ripped the box. Yeah, sorry, Amiibo collectors. Maybe I didn't. Um, let's try over down, let's try over here. Now, actually, let's go over here. Sorry, Molio. No, uh, right here. Oh, that squeak. Am I even doing this right? No, I don't think I'm doing it right. Let's try this side. back a little <clears throat> or a lot up oh, there we go I don't know if you can see it but I'm definitely getting Beelzer out now come on Beelzer you managed to get out with when I got Skyland of Superchargers racing come on Beelzer Beelzer actually cooperate with me for once or maybe I need to um, put it up like this it's that side. Let's get this side. Oh, geez. I'm using my left hand. I'm not a lefty. Uh, come on. Come on, Beelzer. I don't want to cut myself. <laughs> okay, I got it. Oh, jeez. 
Oh no, I ripped I ripped the elder a little bit. But that's okay. I'm gonna keep the insert. Oh at least I'm not uh touching Beelzer's body though. Yes, this is very professional. I am sorry. I am not an amiibo collector. I don't I'm I have I don't get amiibos a lot, so not my, my fault. Uh oh no, I don't wanna work that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on out, be elder. Oh, no, back, back to. Uh, yeah. There we go. All right, come on out, be elder. There you go. We got the elder out. All right, get that back in. Just try to get it back in. And there we go. Got Beelzer out. Yeah, Beelzer. Pimp Beelzer. With his stick. Where, where did I put his cane? Here's, a, here's your cane, Beelzer. I made, I made it especially for you. You're going to love it for your wedding. Yeah, Pimp Beelzer. Nice and shiny. Of course, he needs to look like a pimp in front of Nectarine. Who's right over there. Or maybe somewhere else. Oh yeah, even um, the back of the... Um, the tuxedo even goes back to his tail. And the shell definitely looks better than um, the Skylander. And the hat. I like the texture on the hat. It definitely fits Bowser. And also fits Molly. But. Okay, last one. Nectarine. In a nice white wedding dress that it at least looks different than the one in Super Paper Mario. Spoilers. Spoilers, not really. I don't know. What do you call it? Spoilers? Yeah, here's Nectarine. In a nice white dress. I mean, you expect that from a wedding. From the the bride. But, does Bielzer have bridesmaids? I don't know if he does have bridesmaids. But then on the back, you're going to use this amiibo to get life hearts. Uh, life hearts will appear. That's really useful. And, you can use the dress that Nectarine has as a costume. That's pretty weird. But regardless of Molly wearing a dress, let's get her out. Uh, should I go to the bottom? Alright. Um, let's try over here. Try not to cut the cut the um, plat the cardboard. Go right here. No, not there. Oh, maybe I got an opening right there. Oh, geez. I don't even know how strong this exacto knife is, because uh, really not gonna use this. I really haven't used this a lot, if if if, ah, if at all. I'm at least trying to get Nectarine out, get her away from Beelzer, because Beelzer's a pimp. Unless you want to be with a pimp, that's fine, but really, especially one that's a, a giant poopa. He's a king. Even though he doesn't really need nectarine, he just still wants her. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, come on. Okay, I'm just going to try to get try down here. Oh, jeez, nope, I ripped the box. Already ripped the box. What did I expect? Okay, I got the bottom, but I feel like this one might be the most damaged one out of all the boxes. Actually, let's not go that way. Let's go, um... Oh, I might need to go that way, though. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, I got that side. Now let's go for this side. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, Nectarine. Get out of the box. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Almost there. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. That was really... I'm, make, I'm doing a lot of blows to my desk. That's for sure. Almost got her out, though. Okay, I got it. Got her out. Put this away. Stop giving the blows to my desk. And get her out. And get Nectarine out. But yeah, here we go. I finally got Nectarine out. I mean, it took a while, but I did it. But yeah, here's Nectarine in, in all white. Definitely, this one definitely looks a lot like the, um, the Mario Party 10 one, which I have over, um, right here. But obviously they're different, since that one's from Mario Party 10, and this one's for Super Mario Odyssey. I like the crown, though. I mean, you kind of expect this, since this is um, the white dress Nectarine from the... Um, from the E3 trailer. So you kind of expect it to look nice. And even has glitter on it. And yeah. It, it kind of looks like what Nectarine would look like. In a wedding. If Nintendo actually developed the game. And they did. So yeah. Let's get all of the amiibos. Next to each other. Let's put Nectarine in the middle. There we go. Perfect. Perfect wedding rivalry. So yeah. Now on to the last, the very last thing I have. All right, this is the very last thing. It needs, this game needs no introduction. Super Mario Odyssey. Probably everyone's most, well, most people's most anticipated game of the year, including me. This is my most anticipated game of the year, and I feel like well, because I've seen reviews and people have said that it's amazing, and it's best game, best Mario game, even though that's really not hard it's really not hard to see but it's really easy to see my bad but yeah i feel like but this game has got a lot to do because mario galaxy is one of my favorite games of all time even though i have never played super mario 64 on the n64 i played it on the ds but i've never played it on the n64 and i've um i don't have a lot of experience with super mario sunshine but with galaxy i feel like uh, Cappy right here would be really good with, with, I guess, reminding me of Galaxy and the spin. But yeah, regardless, spine, back. Mario's on a globe-trotting adventure. And then look at all these nice photographs of Mario just exploring the world. And then get boosts with special amiibo, which I just unboxed all the amiibos right here. Control enemies with a toss of your hat. Assist mode with <clears throat> with guiding arrows and other aids. Anyone can play. Share Joy Cons to help Molly out. Player two plays Cat is Cappy and player one plays as Molly But yeah. So play mode one to two players. Tabletop mode one to two players. Handheld handheld mode one player. And uh, for two player mode, one player can control Hat and assist Mario. And then Pro Controller compatible and Amiibo compatible. I'm surprised. This game does not say basic reading ability is full is needed to fully enjoy this game. Even Pikmin 3, which I thought Paper Mario Color Splash was the first one to do it. But no. It even says it up here. Basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. I found I think I might have found the origin of that. But yeah, here's Mario Odyssey. And then rated E10 plus for E ten plus. Malio, you are maturing, my friend. For cartoon violence, really, hey, comic mischief. Okay, maybe it's because of the possessing, because Cappy is a demented hat with eyes. But no, this is why I have the Exacto knife. Because this game deserves to be cut, to be cut open with the Exacto knife. See, this game is going to be legendary. I I can guarantee that. Just like with Breath of the World. Did with the Switch at launch. This game is going to do it within the Switch's first year. I 
let me just get the rest of the seal off. I wonder what's inside, though. I'm get. Um, there's probably no inserts, but I wonder what's on the back cover. Art. <clears throat> okay, try the bottom. Or the back. There we go. Alright, move the exacto knife out of the way, and let's see what's inside. Whoa! Look at that! There's the cartridge, which is all red, which max matches up with the switch. But look at that! It has all of the lyrics for jump for the jump for the song "Jump Up Superstar." I wish I could just play "Jump Up Superstar" right now because I think that was what made me even more hyped for this game. I mean, look, it even has a picture of Pauline, and I mean, I'm not gonna sing the song since I don't know a lot of it. Oh, do this time. I, I like that. Odyssey, yes, see. Odyssey, yes, see. Odyssey, yes, see. Okay, I'm not gonna continue since I cannot sing. But yeah, I like that. I did not notice that. I didn't look up. I didn't, wait, when I looked up unboxing videos, I tried to avoid this because I wanted to be surprised. Look at that new Donk City in the background. The cartridge. I mean, I expected no inserts, but look at that. Now that is what I call a great, a great back cover art. I mean, Breath of the Wilds already looks amazing, but this tops it. That surpasses Breath of the Wild. And then the cartridge. Ta-da! Jeez, oh, I am so excited to play this game. I'm definitely going to be playing it right after I upload this video. So anyways, that's it. So thank you all for watching this long video. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And the next video is going to be Super Mario Odyssey, part one. And maybe I'll do a let's quick play of um, Tiny Barbarian DX. So anyways, shock the world and us, I'll be bros. Goodbye. Please bury me, 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 Peach. No, get to me.